Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad, guys, and the second installment of three on the new Bowser ballast cars. Today, we're going to take a look at ballasting the load and uh, building them back up and reinserting them into the car. So we're representing Sioux Quartzite that comes out of Del Rapid, South Dakota, the LG Everest quarry there. Um, but you could do this with any form of ballast that you uh, that applies to you in your part of the country. So what I'm going to do now is paint these loads and you're gonna ask yourself, why am I gonna do that? Because we're just gonna cover these in ballast. Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, we are going to uh, cover these in a dark color. So no matter what uh, color ballast you're gonna apply over the top of this, um, this light doesn't show through because the last thing you want is um, on pink lady ballast from uh, or the Sioux Quartzite that we're gonna use on on this job uh, probably isn't such a big deal, but if you're going to use something darker, um, something blacker, um, more basalt type stuff, you're going to want, um, you're not going to want any of that lightness showing through there. So we're going to knock that down and make that dark. Um, light doesn't um, come up from the bottom of a hopper anyway, so you never expect to see light below something dark. So uh, we're going to knock that down. We're also going to knock down the insides of these uh, hoppers as well. And I've just got uh, cheap, I think this is craft store uh, paint, uh, probably Hobby Lobby or maybe even Walmart. I've been using this for a bunch of different things and I might even be using it for wheels on occasion as well. Uh, burnt Umber. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of it to, after having shaken it um, on a post-it note so I can get rid of it uh, when I'm done. And I'm just going to dab some paint off with a brush. And my object here is, is just, just to cover this load here. So then we're going to do a little work inside the cars themselves as well here. And just knock down the uh, shine at least. So again, what we're doing is br brushing this uh, just to kill the uh, sheen on those weights. So we don't have to be blinded by that every time we take the load out and represent a, uh, an empty car. And again, I recognize that... This does not look like the bottom of a real ballast car, those flat weights like that. Um, but there's really nothing that can be done about that because you need to have a weight in an HO scale car. We're not a, we're not O scale here. There's nowhere, there's nowhere to hide it really. Uh, besides right here and what, uh, what Bowser, I see what Bowser was doing. They were, they were hiding that weight with the load. Um, Personally, I'm okay with being able to move, remove the load. So I guess I would say that you'd want to set these uh, these loads and these uh, rail cars aside for at least a couple of hours while the uh, paint dries, uh, depending on how thick you put the paint on. Um, I'm going to let them set overnight or probably even longer than that uh, before I have a chance to get down here and apply glue and, uh, and uh, ballast to the top. What you see me doing here is applying full strength white glue, just regular school glue out of a uh, yogurt cup with a cheap hobby brush onto the load directly after it's been painted. I'm trying to get mostly the top of the load. If I get the sides of the load a little bit, that's fine. Uh, we'll knock that down with a file or a, uh, a little piece of sandpaper later. Then I sprinkle on um, our Sioux Quartzite rock dust here quite liberally, uh, whatever doesn't stick, we'll just uh, go ahead and knock off later and, uh, and recover in that, uh, in that container top. So it's the next day again, and uh, the glue has dried on these loads and the, uh, the bottoms of these ballast cars. Um, and the uh, bottoms aren't sticking to the uh, 
plastic below. We got a little bit of ballast stuck to the outsides. Um, that's to be expected. We'll kind of knock that down a little bit and those loads will sit right in there. That'll work just fine. And then one little thing that I should have done before but failed to do is uh, put a little dab of glue in next to a washer on either end of this load. And the washer is not so much for weight, but for providing a handle for a magnet to get a hold of when we want to remove the load. Just a regular flat washer that we put underneath here and glued it in with uh, CA. And uh, once that glues, we'll be able to install those loads and uh, place the, uh, the trucks back under the cars and we'll be off and rolling. And we can test fit our ballast loads. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of filing. And I'll do that over top of just to knock the uh, excess off the sides. And actually that, that looks wonderful. So the next thing here is, is that we will reattach the, uh, this is a little thing I learned a while back. Um, in order to keep the CA under control as you're doing projects, just put out what you need on a little post-it note. Apply it with a uh, toothpick and put a little dab of it where you need, the CA that is, and put your part in place. Then when you're done with the uh, the glue and the toothpick, you throw the whole thing away. I'm just going to dab here a little bit in the space where our previous joint existed. I see some crazing on the plastic there. And there is, I don't know if you see this, there is a little uh, support here for uh, where the, uh, I don't know if there used to be an end rail there or grab iron or something or the other. And there is, I don't know if you see this, there is a little uh, support here for uh, where the, uh, I don't know if there used to be an end rail there or grab iron or something or the other. So I thought it'd be worth noting briefly that uh, the same method that I used for uh, covering the loads on these Bowser ballast cars, uh, I also used on my Sioux Junction HO scale model railroad. Uh, when I built that, that was a four by eight that I might do an episode on that one of these next times. Um, just with the way that railroad worked, but uh, this same method with basically putting on the full strength glue on the shoulders of the uh, of the right of way and then uh, sprinkling ballast on worked very well there. And then obviously a different method is called for uh, with the ballast between the rails, but on the outside of the rails it worked very well. Anyway, this is where we're going to pull the pin on this episode. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, the third of three coming up. Uh, we're going to go into some weathering. Uh, we're pretty much done with uh, the loads here at this point, uh, but we're going to go into some basic weathering for the trucks, wheels, and couplers. Stay tuned. Check the uh, description below for a link to that one or my uh, playlists in, the, uh, in my channel. Click subscribe for more. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.